Good morning. This is the outside of just a nice little rest stop in Forks, Washington. Twilight fans are welcome in Forks, Washington, so we're told everywhere here. <laughs> Forks is where Twilight was based. Right. So yeah. They they um, have a very niche market of Twilight fans. The only people that want yeah. that and like outdoorsy people looking for a place to sleep are the only people that come to Forks. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, we had a big old hike in the Olympic National Forest, in the whole mm -hmm. rainforest. Uh, what did you think of the hike? I loved it. It was beautiful, but... My knees hated it. Right. They hurt really bad. Right. Today we're heading down to the beaches in Olympic National Park, and it's gonna be super fun. This girl loves a good beach, mm -hmm. and I love a good cold, rocky beach that I don't have to get into the water on yeah. or get sunburned at. So it's a good compromise. For all of you who dream about living in a van, this is what happens when you don't want to clean up. You wake up to your entire house being a disaster. We don't have any water, and we have to do these dishes, <laughs> so we have to find a place to get water. Ready baby cakes? Uh, <laughs> every time I think it's gonna be easier in the morning, it's like atrociously hard. Wow, look how full our laundry is, dude. Yeah, we gotta do our laundry soon too. Much out full though. Okay, is this dirty or clean? Dirty. Ish. Dirty-ish or cleanish? Um, I don't know. Maybe cleanish? All right, we're gonna throw it in the cleanish pile. <laughs> I like this. I will continue this cleanup process clothed. <laughs> process. Are you going to be wearing this today? Probably. Super clean. <laughs> dirty. Dirty. <laughs> What's the status? Status. Dirty. Status. The tank? Oh, cleanish. Cleanish. <laughs> this is not even remotely cleanish. Well, we've successfully dirtied and cleaned our van. Put away that secret seat, my baby cakes. I'm doing it right now. Literally right now. I badly need to find the restroom. All right, well, here, let me get dressed. Should I, should I hit my coffee first? Because you know that's going to get it. Ooh. Get it on. Maybe I should make coffee first. But you don't have water. None? Are how, you totally out? How much water do we have? Should I try to fill up the pot and see? Because I feel like if I, if I drink sure. coffee... I would have the most unbelievable poop <laughs> and just be ready for the day. This rest stop is going to have a bathroom. You could just really? pop out. Oh. In this? Totes. My guts. With my sandals and my, with my Burks? Yeah, totes. I, I still feel like maybe I should hit the coffee first. Okay. Because the difference between a coffee poop and a non-coffee poop is astronomical. Okay. Moment of truth. Do we have enough water? Moment of truth. <laughs> Come on, turn a little water guy. We've now stooped to the most barbaric ways of, <laughs> of getting water. The ancient ways. Can I get my coffee going? Yeah, of course. All right. <laughs> Currently atop the coffee station, <laughs> all of our dishes. Whoa, put it in the sink. I'm working on it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Look like you're about to put them on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> I would do that. <laughs> Nice. All right, my heart is already like a little bit happier. Because <laughs> you're on your way to a good coffee. coffee. Oh. <laughs> oh man. We but left yeah. that bread out there in the front, just begging to be stolen. Oh wow, I'm glad we didn't have break-ins from that. Valuables, am I right? Am I right? Am I right. <laughs> Are you mentally prepared to do these dishes? Uh, yeah. This is going to be quite the task, quite the challenge. Quite the challenge. We made a um, curry yesterday, which is amazing, but made a lot of dishes. And we made pad thai for lunch. Also amazing. <laughs> also made a lot of dishes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's figure this out. What is the best way to do this cinch? What I'm going to do is wash these, and then I'm going to need to put them somewhere. So put the table up? Uh, yeah, but I don't want to put them on the table because they're really soapy. I'll just put them on the counter. Okay. okay. Sounds good. I'm uh, a little lost at your plan. I'm going to focus on making coffee. Okay, well, I, I think I can do this. I'm going to need your help, though, eventually. All right, let me know when I'm needed. I've got a new coffee situation that I do. Just because I needed to... I already had all this stuff, but I needed to get rid of some stuff um, so that I didn't have, like, 400 coffee things in the van. <laughs> so I'll show you what I have now. I've got my, whatever my roast of the day is. This is Velton's, it's from Everett, Washington. Super delicious stuff. Shout out to those guys for really doing their job. Whoa. 
You okay with that? Yep. Um, this is my Rhino Airs hand grinder. Um, I've got an AeroPress, and then I've just got something to boil water with. So I know it might still seem like a lot, but that's about as minimal as you can get and make a good cup of coffee. If I'm wrong, let me know. All right, you're soaping these these puppies up one by one, huh? Soaping these puppies up. Wow. So I'm gonna need your help to like rinse them. Right, because someone will have to be the rinse dumper. Exactly. No, I understand. I'm thinking we rinse this batch and then I work on the next batch. Or <laughs> we could use this hot water. Uh, but I need it for my tea. All right, that's the question you're gonna ask yourself. What's more important to you, <laughs> cleanliness or tea? <laughs> Alright, the decision's been made then. <laughs> it looks like we're cruising through the dishes. All soapy soapy. Soapy soapy. Is this the last one left? Yep. I just put some hot water in there to get rid of the, the grease from yesterday. How's, how are you feeling about the dish situation? So I think we need to make a checklist for what we need to do before we can go enjoy our beach day. Okay. Picnic at the beach is the goal, right? Picnic at the beach, yeah. Right. And then what, what do we have to do? Thing number one. Uh, these guys, dishes. Dishes. Thing number two. Poop for you. Thing number three. Um, clean up like the bed, make yeah. the bed, all this stuff. Thing number four. New water. Definitely water. Yeah. Thing number five. Empty out gray water. And trash. And trash. So five things. Yeah. And then we'll be ready to hit the beach. Yeah. This is like, I don't know. This is like an every other day process. I feel like where we have to do the trash and the gray water, and it's like this whole process. And well, we've got a bunch of Toby dishes, but you know what the priority is, babe. This Coffee. <laughs> this little guy. Well, I'm gonna need you for that rinsing process. What? I'm gonna need you for that rinsing process. You zoned out? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> That's some creepy stuff. Rinse some time, girl. Rinse some time. Time to rinse some dishes. Just give me a little splash inside and I'll do the rest. Okay, that's it. Ooh, a waste. Sorry about that. First dish. Second dish is down. This is the bad one, too. What are you doing here, eh? Well, did you, I was coming to give it a cultural look. Okay, hold on. Well, I need I need some more splashes. Big splash or medium splash? Very medium splash. Or small splash. Okay. What's the do. technique here? Just We've go. got the spoon. <laughs> Rinsed. <laughs> done. Done. Nicely done. Okay. This is such an aggressive process. <laughs> She's just forking the crap out of that. Go, go, go. Spoon it. Spoon it, babe. Aggressively spoon it. Spoon it! Aggressively spoon it! Done. All three of these. Perfectly done. Yes. Yeah, I'm really proud of us right now. I'm this proud of you, like, dude. This is a creative the... situation. <laughs> yeah. And we had enough for coffee and tea on the side. I know. Pretty spanking. You little tank sitting in a tree. K I S S I N G. <laughs> Unexpected? You guys... <laughs> no, if you live with Aubrey, she just starts saying the most random things, and in her mind they make so much sense. But two little tanks are sitting in a tree, you're right. Look at all those dishes. I know, I'm really proud of ourselves. Uh, in our tanks and how our water works, basically like we have a little bit of extra water at the bottom of all of our tanks that our pipe can't really reach. So we usually just fill on top of that and it's no big deal. But we use that, that's the water that we used <laughs> to do all of our dishes. And they're all perfectly clean. It also shows you, like, we went through the rest of the six gallons so fast, and the last, like, I know. <laughs> three ounces so slow. That's true. And I think it has to do with, like, we get spoiled by this little electric. Yeah. So, we decided we're actually going to do the gray water here. So Christian's working on that. Are you getting some plumber's crack in there? Definitely getting some plumber's crack yes. in there. This is just water with some food, and some biodegradable soap. Yeah. So not gnarly, but if you let it sit for a long time, it, it can start to smell gnarly. So that patch of green grass will be no worse. It's about to get nourished. It's about to get nourished. <laughs> <laughs> you got some gray water nourishment coming your way. Patch of green grass. <laughs> this rest stop is over the top. Oh, that's our trash? Oh, there's a bigger one right over there. Let's see the bigger one. All right, good call. 
Oh wow. Thank Nash. We need to figure out a better trash bag situation. <laughs> Well, this is a difficult trash can to maneuver. Yeah. Thanks for taking out the trash. Chore number two is done. Woohoo! I really want water because I really want to brush my teeth. It's coming. <sighs> That's definitely going to be the most difficult chore to fulfill because yeah. I don't know where we're going to find water. I know. All right. Thank go God, do your business. The most important of the five chores is about to get completed here. <laughs> You're also gonna scope out our water search, right? Of course, but that's not the most important. <laughs> Bye. So Christian just texted me from the toilet and he said, they don't have a tap for water, but they have a hose outside with clean water they said we could use. Okay, cool. My baby's back. Have you, did you, oh, you cleaned. I did. So that's three out of, or four out of our five. Yeah. Four is done. Well, how what, how is the sitch? Um, how'd it go? You know, as could be expected. Yeah. It, it, the deed was done. Good. The deed was done. Good. I saw this guy. I think a lot of like first of all, it's a small town, and in small towns you've got, I guess everywhere you've got like sketchy people in in these little stores. You know what yeah. I mean? That's not an, a, a normal thing. But I walk in in my pajama pants and my <laughs> sandals, and I go straight up to the manager, and I'm like, "Excuse me, sir, do you guys have one of those little?" spouts that you can get water. And he looks at me and without being phased, he's like, no, but we got a hose outside you can use. I was wow. like, you know what? That'll work. So it's just like, I, I, he didn't even care to make a bock. Got it? Got it. All right. Ooh, chore's done. We need to make this picnic happen. Yeah. And we could go have a late breakfast picnic. Yeah, true. That'd be really fun. True. I wonder if it would be better to head down to his second or third beach because they fill up so fast with their parking. Sure. And then, you know, if we want to explore later, we can. But the goal is to have that picnic. All right, let's do it. Parking situation, here we come. <laughs> so this is no roadside parking. I already see plenty of roadside parking. I think it's on the other side though. Third beach is one busy beach. One busy beach. Yep. Oh, whoa, wait. What? Oh. Oh, wow. Hey. <laughs> Trying to clean up? Found a good old fashioned toothpaste stain on the shirt. <laughs> other than that, it's not dirty. But your uh, pants are, are dirty, something else. But they're 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 not dirty though. They're just permanently ruined. <laughs> um, I made a horrible mistake while building our van. I should have built every day in my already torn Target swimsuit right. that I tore while surfing in Mexico. Instead, I built with my perfect in perfect shape Patagonia shorts that are like way out of my budget. They're like fifty five dollars the most expensive shorts I've ever bought in my life. They're <laughs> so comfortable. I only bought them because I had like a sixty percent discount there. But I, I they're like the greatest shorts in in history. Then I was like messing around and I was telling my sister she had like paint on her hand. I was like, swipe on my shorts, they're already dirty. And now I've destroyed them. So. Oh, wow. Real smart of me, huh? Real smart of you. I know. But now with the toothpaste stain, it kind of matches the paint stain. Yeah, you know? yeah, it does. What do you do? Ready? Here's your tea. You're going to try to drink it, weren't you? I was already drinking it. <laughs> we just found this mad big banana slug. Look at the size of that guy. Holy smokes. Put your hand down next to him. Here, let me put my finger next to him. That's a big slug, and I've got a big Huge. finger. We're almost there. Almost How are you there. feeling? Oh my goodness, look at the view. Well, look at the view behind us. We just came from that. It's beautiful. There's this beautiful stream going straight to the ocean, and then bam. Oh, come on, there it is. Beautiful ocean. I love it. It's my favorite home I could ever imagine. Oh, I love our home. It's my dream home. Yeah. <laughs> she was singing the song before the camera was on. Okay, so the beach was great. It was like it? not just great, it was like unreal. It was unreal. We just had like a nice chill time just hanging out. Chatting. I wanted to sit down and, oh, and you know, just watch the waves, and Christian was like, nah. I ended up sitting down and watching the waves though. For like three minutes. That was a long time for me. <laughs> yeah. I would consider that a morning well. Spent. Well spent. Definitely well spent. Definitely. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us for this little peek into the reality of van life. And what a normal little morning is yeah. like. 
a weekend morning. This yeah, is a pretty normal weekend morning. Now yeah. we haven't been making so many vlogs recently because we've been in one location, but we're back on the road. Yeah. So you guys can expect a lot of these day in the life type videos. So we're just going to take you along. Yeah. Hope you like them. I think, yeah. I think they're definitely the more popular video. Like I think, I think they're what you guys want to see. Yeah. Let us know. Yeah. What do you guys like better? Because we've been yeah. having a lot of conversations about like, what do you guys, what do people want to see? Right. And we want to make stuff that we love and we enjoy watching, but we also really want to make stuff mm -hmm. that you guys enjoy watching. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Mm -hmm. um, we, I've used Squarespace in the past and we're a huge fan of Squarespace. So if you mm -hmm. are interested in building a website for any reason, maybe you own a little business, maybe you want to start a blog, something like that, mm -hmm. Squarespace is a great way to make a really awesome looking website mm -hmm. um, without having to put in a lot of work or having to learn how to code. I built a lot of websites in my day and from a website builder to another potential website wow. builder, Squarespace is a great place to go. If you guys want to check it out, you can go to Squarespot Square, square pies. Square spa. Hmm. Squarespace.com slash minimal to get 10% off of your first purchase. Check if you need out, a guys. website, use the link that is in the description box. Yeah. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this and we will see you on Friday. Yeah. I know weird schedule. We missed Monday. Yeah. We're doing Wednesday and Friday and Saturday this week. So yeah. see you Friday. Be there or be square. Bye guys.